Claremont traffic, Cherokee 7209 Foxtrot departing 31 Claremont. Hello everyone and welcome back to J1 Aviation. So on this channel we like to review a couple questions from the FAA private pilot test prep. So today's questions are on Aramets and Sigmet. So let's begin. Okay, question number one. Airmets are advisories of significant weather phenomena, but of lower intensity than SIGMETs and are intended for dissemination to A, only IFR pilots, B, all pilots, or C, only VFR pilots. Okay, so the answer is B, all pilots. So the information contained in an airmet is of operational interest to all aircraft. However, the weather concerns are primarily hazardous to light aircraft with limited capabilities. So airmets are split into three categories depending on the weather phenomena they contain. Sierra is the airmet code for widespread areas of ceiling less than a thousand feet and or visibility is less than three miles. Basically that means less than BFR conditions or mountain obscuration. Tango is for turbulence, sustained surface winds of 30 knots or greater and low level wind shear. And airmet Zulu is used for icing and freezing levels. Now airmets are issued every six hours with intermediate updates as necessary. Okay, question number two. SIGMETs are issued as a warning of weather conditions hazardous to which aircraft? A, small aircraft only, B, large aircraft only, or C, all aircraft? So the answer is C, all aircraft. SIGMETs are in-flight advisories concerning non-convective weather that is potentially hazardous to all aircraft. They report weather forecasts that include severe icing, not associated with thunderstorms, severe or extreme turbulence or clear air turbulence, not associated with thunderstorms, dust storms or sandstorms that lower surface or in-flight visibilities to below three miles, and volcanic ash. SIGMETs are unscheduled forecasts that are valid for four hours. Okay, and the last question for today, question three, what information is contained in a convective SIGMET? A, tornadoes, embedded thunderstorms, and hail three quarter inch or greater in diameter. B, surface icing, severe turbulence, or widespread dust storms lowering visibility to less than three miles. Or C, surface winds greater than 40 knots or thunderstorms equal to or greater than VIP level four. Okay, so the answer is A, tornadoes, embedded thunderstorms, and hail three quarter of an inch or greater in diameter. So convective sigmets are advisories for hazardous convective weather that affects the safety of every flight. Convective sigmets are issued for severe thunderstorms with surface winds greater than 50 knots, hail at the surface greater than three quarter inch in diameter, or tornadoes. They also are issued to advise pilots of embedded thunderstorms or thunderstorms with heavy or greater precipitation that affect 40% or more of a 3,000 square mile or greater region. So basically greater than 1,200 square miles. So there you have it. A few questions on airmets, sigmets, and convective sigmets. So no matter which is issued, as a pilot, we need to be mindful of them. So thanks everyone for riding along today. We we'll hope you join us on a future flight, and thanks for flying J1A. You're going to get an RV four miles north and down landing to the garden.